Hello everyone. Today we will see what is extended ECM for SAP solution. So we will go into the details of its benefits and the features. So let's try to understand what this product is and what are the different features and benefits we can get after implementing this solution in our enterprise system. So as the name suggests, it's the extended ECM for SAP solution. So here we are extending the ECM capabilities and integrating it with our SAP system which is our leading ERP system in this case. Till now we have seen that uh, ECM as a document management system offers document management capabilities like uh, version control, safe storage, long term storage, uh, access control, workflows. So all this document management functionality if we want to integrate with our SAP content especially the unstructured content that gets generated from SAP system in that case uh, this uh, solution provides a very good integration and uh, it integrates both SAP and ECM in a seamless manner, uh, enabling business to manage their document in uh, open text uh, content server. So if you go with the definition that extended ECM for SAP solution integrates a process world of SAP with document management functionality of content suit, thereby enabling users to access unstructured content directly in their processes in SAP. So this is a huge advantage uh, when business users are uh, working in their SAP interface. They need not come to the ECM system uh, for viewing their document. They can directly access uh, the, the document and the information that they need uh, to conduct their business process in SAP interface itself. So we will see like how to achieve that, what are the technical aspects. But from the application or the solution perspective, this is the main feature. Uh, and that's why we have uh, a product uh, which the name extended ECM for SAP solutions. So once we integrate this to system, uh, what it does is it enables the right users to get right information in the business context at right time. And, and in turn it increases the efficiency and productivity of entire organization. Now if you have to technically uh, speak like what this solution actually is. So it's a framework uh, that uh, SAP and OpenText has built uh, collaboratively and uh, in this uh, framework uh, what we do is we integrate sap system uh, with open text content suit and archive server using web services and other integration points so there are like web services uh, spi interfaces through o script also there are uh, linkages uh, available uh, to connect these two systems so we will see those technical aspects uh, as well now let's move to the Challenges area, like why we need this uh, solution, uh, first of all, like why we need to integrate SAP and ECM. What were the challenges uh, that business faced uh, due to which uh, Open Text and SAP has realized that uh, there is a need for such a product. So first of all, the content, if it is fragmented, let's say if it is stored in a different places, some of the content is in, let's say, uh, share files, some of them may, might be in our uh, uh, desktop fo folders. So what happens due to all this fragmented content is uh, it slows down the process. Contents get locked in different silos and applications and thereby let's say I need a document I will go to different applications and will search for the document. So that will increase my uh, time that I need to uh, that I need to complete a process. And also sometime I will not get the correct data or I will get the incorrect version of a document. So all that uh, fragmented contents uh, is a hindrance uh, for a smooth uh, business process. Second, inaccessible content. So, inability to find information uh, results in misleading decisions that impact services and product quality. So, this is again is not a desirable outcome. So, this is again a major challenge uh, that uh, businesses faced with, like without the integration in place. Then out of control uh, is a compliance risk. So, with uh, let's say file share or some other means of storage uh, of content, there are no records management or uh, disposal functionality which are uh, inherent to that solution. So the content become out of uh, control and we lose control on that. There is no uh, life cycle defined. So that's again a challenge uh, that we face uh, with a separate uh, ECM system or a separate content then disconnected content delivers no value. So when the content is uh, like in different places, it will not deliver value uh, for the business because it is not connected with the processes. And after a while, it becomes very difficult uh, to uh, use this data for our uh, business growth and productivity. 
again inconsistent content impacts productivity because inconsistent uh, sees between sap data and the document result in rework cost and impact on performance and productivity in every business function so i am let's say working on a vendor process and i am looking for a particular document related to that vendor now like after three years it becomes very difficult like after so, so many years it becomes very difficult to find all those documents related to that vendor directly in my sap application and i might have raised a wrong uh, purchase order or a wrong uh, document i will issue to that vendor because of this uh, uh, information being not available so that's again one risk uh, inconsistent uh, content which uh, reduces productivity also the last in inefficient information uh, it flows break uh, collaboration so content silos lead to inefficiencies of interdepartmental and external collaboration the shared platform must c connect to heterogeneous applications so again it's the uh, inefficiency because the applications are not connected with each other and uh, there is no collaboration capabilities in uh, when it comes to uh, document management so these are the challenges because of which the open text and sap then uh, uh, envisioned this product uh, extended dcm for sap which uh, helps mitigate all these uh, challenges and provide a unified and uh, integrated world when it comes from sap business side and from the document management side from uh, open text so there are other challenges as well so these are the high level challenges uh, that we have uh, listed down here so that we get to understand why such a solution was uh, needed now to overcome all these uh, challenges like what is the solution that excedent dcm for sap provides so as we know like all the businesses are driven by the biz uh, business processes so they are the core uh, at every operations in a business so in old paradigm the content was managed separately and the processes were managed separately so there were co uh, core business processes and then there is a segregation between them and the content where we manage the content and uh, perform operations like uh, capture review collaborate access and uh, finally preserve or destroy now in the new paradigm what we are doing is we are merging these two processes seamlessly so now we have content enriched business processes so content is integrated with the core business processes thereby removing the silos that existed in the old paradigm so this is the new uh, concept and the new solution which extended ecm for sap provides so it removes the silos between the sap world or the business world or business process world from the content world so both the structured and the uh, unstructured data can be uh, stored in, in the context of a business application so this this concept is very important to understand uh, when uh, we want to understand this xcm for sap solution that uh, what is the main benefit uh, what is the best solution that uh, comes out of this uh, uh, product now let's look at uh, some of the benefits uh, that uh, this uh, xcm uh, platform provides first like as we discussed it provides content enriched uh, business processes uh, whereby uh, users are able to access the content in the context of a particular business process so if i am accessing some invoices related to a vendor then i can check all those uh, invoices uh, within the vendor's context i can uh, view the sales order in the context of a customer i can view the documents uh, let's say related to some real estate uh, uh, property in the context of uh, a particular business process in that uh, module second content is easily accessible across enterprise uh, thereby increasing efficiency so with the enterprise wide uh, uh, platform the content can be easily collaborated or shared between different uh, uh, departments and uh, within the context of business process as well so this allows uh, accessibility of this content seamlessly and thereby in increases the efficiency for all the stakeholders another important benefit uh, uh, that comes because of this integration is that users of non sap application such as let's say microsoft office or some other uh, departments that do not have access to sap system can be given access to sap information via uh, this uh, xcm platform because when we store uh, documents related to a business uh, uh, process uh, like the transactional metadata can also be associated uh, with this managed content so it's not just plain uh, documents that are stored i also get the metadata or the transactional information of a particular business process in that uh, document so let's say if it's an invoice then i understand what are the uh, different uh, like from who is the vendor 
what is the per value when it came so all those associated uh, information is also associated with the document so somebody looking or working on those content uh, who do not have access to sap uh, system can also understand like what is the importance of that uh, document and what uh, exactly needs to be done Another benefit is uh, silos uh, and disconnected repositories can be eliminated or at least connected. So let's say if we have some documents which are stored somewhere in our uh, ECM platform, then we can connect it to a particular business process in SAP. So there are features uh, that this platform provides uh, to do that. So it helps uh, removing silos. Then we have records management uh, that can ensure uh, regulatory compliances across non-SAP and uh, SAP content. So once the content uh, uh, gets stored in XCCM platform, we have the records management uh, which we can apply and then uh, the document will be managed or uh, the life cycle of the documents will be managed. So that's another uh, important benefit uh, that this uh, platform provides. Now let's see what are the features uh, of this XCCM platform. So till now we have seen like what were the challenges and what was the solution and the benefit uh, that this system provide. Now let's look into some of the features of this XCCM platform. So first is capture. So this uh, platform has a robust uh, capture function, uh, capture uh, uh, features wherein we can capture the content that is getting generated. Uh, so it can be either through hard copies of the document or the documents that are coming via email or via some other channels. So there are multiple uh, capture uh, functionality that this uh, platform provides. Second, uh, document ingestion and processing. So once we capture the documents or the data, uh, then we need to ingest this or uh, store this in our system. So we have uh, functionality for document ingestion and uh, then processing. So if we need to do some processing on the document that we have captured, those uh, capabilities are also present. Then standard document functionalities like check in, check out, version control, access control, search, audit. All those uh, features are available. Uh, those are the core uh, features of a ECM platform or the open text content server. So that's also available uh, once the document gets stored in uh, this uh, platform. Records management, uh, we briefly touched on that. Then archiving, we can archive the content uh, for the long term storage. Then, then we get a uh, content centric workflows to automate our uh, document centric business processes. So let's say some of the processes are not managed uh, in SAP uh, as they are document centric. And we want uh, to manage those processes uh, within our XCCM platform. Uh, let's say a simple review approval of a document that is uh, coming from, uh, uh, from SAP. So those workflows we can directly uh, create in uh, XCCM platform. And then uh, users can uh, review and approve those uh, as part of that workflow. So that's again a very powerful uh, feature that comes with this integration. Then collaboration, the content can be shared easily. And there are add-ons through which you can even share this content with uh, outside uh, your uh, enterprise, like core share. So the uh, collaboration features comes uh, handy. Uh, so the collaboration features are again like important uh, benefit that that users can use. Then the content access from different interfaces like SAP GUI, Fury apps, Microsoft Office content server. So this is again one of the important uh, uh, feature. The content is available directly from the interface which a user works in. So let's say I am a SAP user who works predominantly in SAP GUI. Then all the documents I can access from that interface itself. Or let's say I use Fury apps to access my business processes. Then the, with integration, the documents will be available in Fury itself or in Microsoft Office or within the content server as well. It also provides analytics uh, uh, features, so we can create reportings and uh, analyze like what content is coming and how that is uh, used in our organization so that we can uh, get some insight uh, of the working. So this again helps drive uh, like business and identify the uh, pain points or the uh, area where we need improvement. So all those analytics capabilities uh, uh, comes into picture. So these are the main features uh, of an XCCM platform. So this is not an exhaustive list, uh, but uh, on a high level, what are the main features? Uh, 